Hey guys, Ken Kaplan here, and uh, kind of a cool story behind this bike right here. This was my good friend Dale Piper's dad's bike. Um, long story short, his dad had the same exact bike in 1982, and Dale totaled it. So um, years later, his dad was uh, in the hospital sick. Terminally ill. Well, they didn't know he was terminally ill. He he had uh, he had pneumonia in the hospital, and while he's in the hospital. He, he said to Dale, he said, hey, you never replaced that, that Honda. So Dale said, okay, okay, Pops. He went out, found this up in Laconia, New Hampshire, uh, online, drove all the way up there from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a thousand mile round trip, and bought this for his dad. Um, him and his dad had the same exact bike. His was black and silver. They came in two colors, and this is the, the blue and silver. In my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful Honda 750s ever made, and it's extremely fast. I just came out of the driveway in first gear and cracked the throttle. The rear wheel spin loose, spin like nothing. As soon as it gets on the main jet, the thing hauls the mail. Um, they'll put new tires on the bike, front and rear. A couple years ago, they probably have less than less than a couple hundred miles on them, so the tires are like new. The brakes work perfectly. Um, everything on the bikes, mechanically, it's it's excellent. All the lights work, the turn signals, uh, the horn, typical Honda quality, high beam, low beam, all the idiot lights. Um, and this bike is 100% bone stock original, except for the tires, the grips, bars, everything. And again, when I look at this bike, this is a very, very limited edition. They only made, let me shut it off. They only made these bikes one year. What's special about this bike? Well, look at the frame. It has a matching powder coated blue frame that matches the tank, which is the uh, absolutely gorgeous shade of blue with the chrome and red pinstriping. So I call this a Captain America bike. If, if Captain America had a Honda, this would be it. It's beautiful. It's got the kind of like the red chrome and blue uh, with the chrome front fender. Um, doesn't appear to ever have been dropped. Uh, I don't see any damage on the pipes on this side. Come take a look at these pipes, Kenny. We've had a couple of these come through. We had a 650. Usually they rot out on the bottom. Um, I don't see any indication of any rot down there anywhere on this bike. Um, this just When we got it from Dale, he had been maintaining the bike, running stable through the tank. And he said he had done the carbs a couple years ago. So um, it appears to, to me run, to run excellent. Um, it is cold blooded. Dale said it's always been very cold blooded. So we let it warm up for like 10 minutes and uh, it runs great. So typical early 80s Honda carbureted, a little cold blooded. So the original shocks, uh, original chain and sprockets. This bike has only got 6,000 miles on it, folks. It's barely broken in. Triple disc brake, long travel suspension in the front, chromed out to the max with a gorgeous paint job. What's not to love about it? Absolutely an investment quality bike. Good luck finding a nicer one. When it came in, the guys in the shop were like, wow, I haven't seen one this nice ever, you know, since the 80s. So just a beautiful piece. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Um, again, tires have been replaced. Uh, he had serviced everything on the bike, and he has a battery tender on it right here, so you, keep, you can keep it plugged in so the battery doesn't die. Um, it's got a newer battery in it, and uh, to my knowledge, the bike needs nothing at this point. Just a beautiful machine. Um, again, cold blooded, uh, takes a while to warm up, but once it warms up, man, she hauls ass. Very fast bike. I wish it wasn't 10 degrees out. I would, and you know, it wasn't, we're in a great white north here. It's freaking freezing cold out, like 15, 20 degrees. And then with the wind chill, it gets down below zero. So I'm not gonna ride this thing anymore. So, cause I'm cold, but um, I ran it through the gears. The clutch is perfect, training is perfect. Just like Dale said it was. Dale uh, is a long time motorcycle aficionado he knows more about these bikes than anybody else i know and uh he's a major collector he's owned all kinds of motorcycles and um he bought this for his dad so this was his pop's bike and when his dad passed away unfortunately um shortly after he bought the bike dale kept it for a while dale's getting up in years too like like me and the rest of us so he's he, he figured he wasn't going to ride it so he uh asked me to if I'd be interested in purchasing it and selling it to raise some funds for the museum. So he gave me a great deal on it and that's what we're doing. We're selling it to raise funds for the museum. So if you have any questions about it, give us a call. 860-454-7024. Good luck bidding on this beautiful bike and God bless America.